Off in the distance, a man with a blowing cape and something on his hand that turns colors. I can sense something in the winds, something awesome! Yeah! Dragons! Tales of Zesty! Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Tales of Zesty. Zesty. Zesty Taria. Here on the Cabling Let's Plays channel. And some crazy stuff. I wanted is about a to little more. Down. I wanted a little more zesty. A little more? A little more. Or a lot more. I wanted a lot more zesty. Oh, look, a bat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bat. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, that flame came in handy. It's the sheep flame. That's right. <laughs> I love the shepherd. Your awesome power of summoning sheepness. Yeah, the sheep flame actually uh, came in handy for taking these guys down. It's so intimidating when I hear the, the bad of sheeps. I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh. no, don't hurt me. Oh, look, it's another one of those weird I just saw a monolith, written in monolith things. Hello, monolith. Armatization, so basically calling sheep powers. Got it. Awesome. Good to know. Lots of armatization. A lot of stuff. A lot of calling the sheep world. The world of the sheep. It's like an ancient memo. It's a pretty bad memo. Saray, yeah. it's time for you to open a can of spam. Tasty. I miss Miklio. Who needs Miklio when you have Goku? <laughs> oh, that was easy. Who needs spam when I could just transform with my sheep powers? <laughs> Blast gauge. Awesome. Wait, you actually transform with her, don't you? You guys combine? With our powers combined? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> More weakness, resistance, and speaking to monoliths. Just give me my AP, yo. Thank you. With our powers combined, we are... <gasps> Ooh, a chest! Sheep man! Void ring. I already have one of those. I know I already have a void ring. Hmm. Hmm. Hitting an enemy's weakness will start a weakness combo. Interesting. File. Memory. Stored. I'll remember that for later. Maybe. I memorized the entire thing. It oh, nice. it's one of these, so we have to use our uh. flame power. Wait for it. Fire, wind. Bah. Okay, it's just fire. Fire, wind. Yeehaw. Sheep. Oh, Water. sorry. I, I forgot what a sheep sounded like, so <laughs> I, I thought donkey. <laughs> ah, come on, give me a break. Oh. Ready? I'm ready. Those are you like, ready? Those are like giant centipedes. Yeah, whatever. They, they gotta deal with this. Ha! I know it's overkill, but I don't care. <laughs> bye bye. The ruins are calling me. No, actually, that's just more of the voices in your head. <laughs> Combo effects. Circle, 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 X. Oh yeah. See, that's a spam ability. Yeah. That's spam great. is good. I mean, it's circle, not good circle, all the circle, time, X. but, uh, you know, we can avoid a lot of the spam by just transforming into Goku. Well, as long as you put an X on the end of it, spam Door is okay. Door won't budge. It seems to be locked. No. Really? I thought it would open. Fine. So I guess we gotta find a way to open said door. It's a spam combo. I would not want to fall into that. That would not be fun. Nope. Nope. How does your outfit stay so clean and white? Like In the sewer? I know. It's because I'm the shepherd. You've been slashing all these like, creatures and it's been on fire and everything. Oh yeah. No, they're on fire. I am just make this look good. The ruins are calling you with names that I can't repeat. They're really not nice <laughs> names at all. How I'm uh, able to hear those, I don't really know. I, I think he's the only one that can hear the ruins calling him. I don't hear anything. What are they saying? <laughs> Your outfit looks cheap. You need to go to Old Navy. Wait, isn't actually, that where cheap clothes actually, is? Actually, Old Navy is pretty inexpensive. But you look fabulous, so. Yeah, th yeah, it's a pretty fabulous. Not person. everybody can go to Forever 21, Amber. 
That's actually a pretty cheap story as well. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. I, I <laughs> yeah. know nothing about clothing apparel. <laughs> Ooh, cutscene! It's just what I bring you home. Saved by the cutscene! Shoo! Finally! Woohoo! So, what are your plans now? Hmm, I doubt he's at the inn. Oh, Mikleo? But he said he would wait for us back at the inn when he left. So, the ruins below spread out all over the place, right? If that's the case, I'll bet Miklio went off to search for another entrance. One that's not this one. Huh? You mean Miklio went into the ruins alone? How dangerous, how downright reckless of him. The Hellions here are spreading like wildfire. You just saw firsthand what a force they are to be reckoned with. How can you be so calm when your friend is in peril like this? It's not it's real. Fun. I know he's not the type to let his guard down when he's faced with real danger. And I'm sure he knows full well that he has no ability to purify the Hellions all by himself. Mm. Don't worry. You really do have the utmost faith in him, don't you? Well, it's a love-hate sort of thing. I see. So Miklio has a sort of rivalry going on with you, and thus he went alone to search for the ruins rather than return to the inn. But you're sure he wouldn't do anything dangerous by himself. Well, her so eyes then, look weird there. What are your plans now, Saray? Man, hmm. you sure have a mean streak, you know that? Oh, do I? But anyways, first I have to return this to Alicia. Oh, the knife you used to open the door. We found this at the ruins, where I first met her. It was probably handed down by the royal family. I'm sure it's very important. Before I begin my duty as a shepherd, I feel like I should return it. Indeed. Lila, you had something else to tell me, right? About what it is to be the shepherd. I'd like to hear the rest of what you had to say. Oh, it's true, I do. But first, to that same end, there are things I would like to ask Alicia as well. Perfect. Let's head over to her manor then. We might find Miklio as well. Oh, yeah. He'll probably give up and wander back any time now. <laughs> now that would be perfect. Boy, I knew you had a mean streak. <laughs> That's weird. They just saw him speaking to no one again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was going to say. Why, why were you laughing? <laughs> because I was just thinking. She said there's other responsibilities or other things he had to do to be a shepherd. And I was thinking, like, yeah, a sanity screening. <laughs> like, oh, he'd fail that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you have to make sure that he's sane well, in you, his you right want... mind. Oh, hey. So you made it out okay. <laughs> yeah. You really saved my butt back there. Thanks so much. Oh, nah. It was nothing, really. We owe you our thanks as well. They're gonna beat you up now. When yep. this guy went missing, we thought he'd just up and gone home already. Whoa now, hang on a second. Aren't you the shepherd? That outfit fits the description in all the rumors to a T. Well, <laughs> uh... For real? This is the guy that pulled the sword? <laughs> I figured you were something special, but this is more than I even bargained for. You're I wearing a robe. for saving me. Want to get some grub later? <laughs> to think I'd become buds with the great shepherd himself. My wife and kid are gonna scream the roof off when they hear this. Well, uh, I don't know if. Wait, wait, wait! That Thanks voice was yourself. coming from that little guy. We'll be cheering you on. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. He's the one who removed. Wow. Great. See you soon, shepherd. I think they need to reevaluate whose voice comes out of where. That doesn't work. They certainly were a lively bunch. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Everyone back home in Alicia is a little more relaxed. It's because they're not real. You spent your whole life in the village of the Seraphim, right? With no other humans around for miles. Until I met Alicia. I see. 
<laughs> then she's like, you have no idea how to interact with people. Yeah. <laughs> what I wanted to say, though, when she was talking about all defensive about Miklio, I was like, you like him. You want to marry him. But they never <laughs> yeah. stopped talking so I could say it. Oh, I know. Ugh. I know. We can't interject at all. I can't really interject at all. It makes me sad because it's like all this brilliant dialogue is being replaced by all this. Bah, 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 I know. What we should do is just rewrite all the dialogue our way. Yeah! I got a more interesting story anyway. (laughs) The ruins underneath the city nobody cares about. We'll just change this to Japanese and we'll make it Ramen Rider. No, we're saving that for Kamen Rider Summon Ride. Okay. Rider Kick! Well, what I was thinking is when she said, you have faith in McLeo, I was thinking, yeah, he has faith he exists and nobody else Nobody else believes he exists. Ah, like, faith as small as a mustard seed can grow to become a very big tree. Something like that. We'll do everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. What now? It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher. But I am aware that it also tends to drive the chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray. Oh, uh, hello there. She perked right up. Should I come back later? Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepherd Saray. I am Maltran, Knight Preceptor and Advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom of Highland. Please, do all you can to help Alicia. She could use the support of a good friend. Yes, of course. Friend zone. Oh, burn. How about lunch? Rejected and deflected. You could help me move, friend zone. Wow, I gotta say, she's totally got it together. I know, right? My dream is to be as cool as her. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to her. Person you can't see. Don't interrupt people's conversations. That's rude. Investigating the ruins, correct? <laughs> well, yes, that's true. So it counts even if they're having a conversation with no one. Why do I walk faster than everyone? Yeah, you have to wait for her. She's really slow. <sighs> no offense. Just tiny little. Wait, who, legs. who's this? Yeah, leave so we can have like an adult conversation because we're adults and we conversate. This is for you. He's going to stab her! My knife! Did you find this at the ruins near Elysium? He's an assassin. Yeah, I figured it was yours. This is an important item that's been handed down in my family for generations. I thought I'd never see it again. And you never will. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. Re, re, oh, re, re! But may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. Wait, did you just... I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Oh no, it's contagious. Hello? Uh, I see. So it won't be that easy just yet. Lila? I'll explain things, but first, take her hand again. Lila says she'll explain. Can you give me your hand again? She's sure. like, will I? Yes, Hello? Shepard. Alicia? Can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Loud and clear. I haven't even held my breath yet. At this point, you've grown much more accustomed to my power, to the extent that you can now do what you did before without dulling your other senses. I don't feel any different, though. That's good news. It means you don't have to go through all that hassle anymore to make her voice carry. (laughs) It was fun in a way, but good riddance. All right, very well then. Shall we begin? All right. Lila needed to talk with you about something. With me? I would ask that you lend us your power, so that we may find the vessels in the Lords of the Land. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. Ooh, story time! In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in Ooh. order to protect their land from the malevolence. I'm gonna get popcorn. The Seraphim and humans worked together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence, those seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the malevolence. 
The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from malevolence. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the shepherd purifies the malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the lord of the land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the lord of the land? And should they be found, if those of the sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? As for the sanctuary, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way! However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. <laughs> All right, fill me in. Why were you laughing? I'm <laughs> just, just because you said way. I'm just, I don't know. This. Why did you just, just curtsy at the table? Did she you... was, she was talking to another invisible person. <laughs> oh, someone who I can't see, but she can. <laughs> exactly. You and... know, I'm losing track of all these invisible people. <laughs> Maybe that was a clue of some sort. And nope, actually, it was just a table. That and your other friend over there, she actually the reason why she left she's abruptly is. Uh... She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. No, she's following she's another like invisible person. Are, are you guys done having a conversation amongst yourselves? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we got to go to the sanctuary I'm again. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you were saying. I was talking to my imaginary friend next to me. Mm. <laughs> oh, right, we have to go to the sanctuary. I'm if you sorry. keep cracking up like while they're doing dialogue, you're going to make me lose it. Okay. When I don't even understand. <laughs> I, the joke just went right past my head. I just... I don't know. I just this, this series is just getting really zesty for me. That's because we don't play it the way it's supposed I know. to be played. Uh, it looks like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. Don't. So it goes. Any clue as to the vessel, at least? Let's see. Something free of malevolence. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremonies. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Is something wrong? Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Hellions? Likely. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. And oil. Hey, is there anything we can do? Of course there is. But in that case, we will need the cooperation of a seraph of water. As a fire seraph, I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. A water seraph, huh? Yes. <sighs> By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. We sort of had a fight. He spied. Anyway, to the Galahad ruins. There's Hellions to smack. That's true. Let's do what we can first and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. I would, but you don't <sighs> have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray, just as the Prime Lord can have sublords, so too can there be squires to the Shepherd. If Alicia becomes your squire, she can fight against the Hallians as long as she is within your domain. My squire? But... This sanctuary. No, make that all of the sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. A highland overrun with malevolence is the only highland I've ever known. I beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So that I may see my homeland free of malevolence. I think she meant bride. Take me as your bride. Just like you'd always dreamed of. As I think that's what he was thinking. 
So then, how does this work? You got to kiss the girl. Incantation. Give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. Let's see. A true name for Alicia. Concentrate. It's gotta be good. Bud forms on the holy branch. Its flowers bring fruit. Its fruit begets seeds. The circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Cutie? Melfisomechia! <laughs> so hard to say! Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. No, call her by her real name now. You renamed her. <laughs> Melfisomechia. Stalker! Why was he fired? Why couldn't he just make Miklio his squire? Because Miklio He's is been... an imaginary person. <laughs> He's been replaced by two girls. What is up with this? <sighs> Saray. He has two girls with him. Two girls for every shepherd. And <laughs> Miklio has nobody. This is the worst. It is my pleasure, Saray. I promise not to be a burden. Yeah, whatever. Just don't die on me. All right, so where we have to... For every shepherd. There you go. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This way. Toy song. Well, at least there's somebody accompanying me now, so when I talk to myself, it doesn't look like I'm completely insane. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. This is the only Tales game that I can really remember where the main character talks to himself. I don't understand why he just slighted Miklio. Miklio is going to be like, um, Syndrome. It's going to be like, oh, I can't help Fly you. home, I, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I am your yeah. biggest fan. Yeah. Exactly. Miklio is going to come back and be evil in the end. He's going to become the evil lord. He's going to be like, I wanted to help you, oh, but no. Oh, I'm not liking this map <laughs> system. Wow. Um, what is? I don't know. I'm just so. Holy uh, I'm water gonna I'm gonna try to let it go, but I just. Uh, ah. It's annoying. I think he just wanted two girls for himself. As he's just like, nope. Oh, I have. I've been Layla alone and <laughs> all my life. <laughs> what and about Nick? What about Miklio? He's just yeah. wandering alone. Miklio probably has a Sarath girlfriend. If you really think oh, about really? it, he's in a yeah. village with other people that actually, he can see and interact with. You're right. He can actually have friends. Where is this guy? This is this is all about. What's his name again? Sorbet. Yeah. <laughs> Sorbet. It's Sorbet's Sherbert. time. Sherbert. Yep. Sherbert the shepherd. And I mean, you can't really do much better than a princess in the human world. So I'd say he's doing pretty good. They're already totally. holding hands. Man, yeah. kids move fast. Yeah, these he's days. just like well. I know when when he was saying that it's like, oh yeah, you hold you have to hold my hand. That way we can hear the invisible people talk. It's like, yeah, right. You just want to hold her hand. Smooth, <laughs> smooth. It's like, are you hearing them? Yeah, I am. Hold it for just a little longer. Um, are you hearing them? <laughs> your hand's getting kind of sweaty and warm. It's fine. Just, it's okay. <laughs> and, and you're sure this is just to hear the invisible people? Just let me right? hold your hand. <laughs> Okay. All right, if it's for a good I'm cause. I'm Captain Cool. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all fine and dandy now. Whatever you say, Sherbert. <laughs> the name is Sorbet. It's French. I think. <laughs> or is it Swiss? Well. How is it raining now? This doesn't make much sense. Hmm. Maps. 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 Come, no. Squire. <laughs> when we were listening to the dialogue, I was cracking up because a lot of it just doesn't make sense to me at all. And they just, I don't know. You have to let me in on the joke. <laughs> I just, I can because I don't want to. Press R2 to oh. armatize. What kind of creature is this? Be careful of those legs. They get longer. Uh. Okay. Here it comes, Alicia. Remain calm. Just attack it like you would any other creature. She's like, wait. I didn't know you were a natural blonde. Holy crap, I am so OP. <laughs> it looks so cool. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Purification complete. Oh yeah. And she's just like, but I was supposed to fight too. Armatization rejuvenation. He's like, just stand there and look pretty. I got this. 
You're just arm candy, lady. I said you could be my squire, but in reality, yeah. I just need you to hold my hand so I can, I can talk to invisible people. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So this is not my girlfriend. This is my squire. She, uh, you know, does squire stuff and cooking. Basically, all the things that a girlfriend is supposed to do, but I don't have to be emotionally attached to her. I can even boss her around. That's terrible. It's perfect. <laughs> no. Nirvana. No. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight, aren't I? No, I mean, I'm Sorbet. I'm fine. I'm the shepherd. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> nothing at all. Is that yeah. a weird bird thing? Oh, look, it's one of those weird obelisk things. Or mo- whatever. What, 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 what is, is this thing? Monolith. It's a rock. Yeah, whatever. Just give me my AP. AP is what I need. Yeah! It's a rock with writing on it. This is actually becoming the funnest series for me to work on. I don't know. It, it's just... There's something about the names and the dubbing. I mean, yeah. it's not... Remember that one Arc, Arc Rise Fantasia on the Wii that had such bad dubbing? Oh my gosh, it was so oh, painful. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think I remember that one. I don't even remember if we finished that game, but we uh, got contracted to do a review for Game Zone years ago. The dubbing was so bad that I had to switch to the Japanese. It's like, I can't take <laughs> it anymore. Please. Oh. I fell in my- Oh, where did that thing come from? Oh no. I'm gonna make you escape and bleed. Malevolent wolves. Yeah, whatever. Three hit combo to perform Banish Blast. Ow. I want to perform Banish Blast. Oh no, one is attacking, attacking Layla. She's fine. I loved how, uh, what's her name? When I transformed, she was like, oh my. I really like this guy now. He's uber powerful. It's like uh, an Old Spice commercial, you know? You <laughs> yeah. wish your man could turn into a blonde <laughs> yeah. with a ponytail. That's right. Come on, you're slacking, girl. No. Yay, spears! The spear. I didn't fear the spear at all. She's so cute. I like her. Banish Blast. During armatization, hold down R2. Okay. I remember that. That's right. Let's... Now I'm thinking about R2, though. Not not the button, the little droid. It goes... Beep, 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 beep. That's right, K-Wing. If you really want to impress me, you have to go out there and slay some wolves. <laughs> finish preparing the gel. I don't need to date anymore. With some, like, a flaming sword or something. I've already I've already gone out and done the dating thing. I don't have to slay any monsters or dragons anymore. I just have to compliment you and say your cooking's great. Yay! That's it. You're correct. If you want food and you want to live, yes, you have to come. Wait, what was that last part? <laughs> well, you can't live without eating. So. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Switching characters in battle. Open the menu, press triangle, options... All pretty easy, um, yeah, so that's, how's your day going? Oh, uh, here's the thing, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's funny, it's like, this is how you switch your characters. By the way, how's your day going? My day's, my day's going okay. I'm, uh, doing stuff. I may or may not be lost, but that's okay. Uh, at least we're not failing in battle, right? That's mm, always good. Totally. I think your day's going well, K-Wing, because you have food for the week. Mmm. In the fridge. I love food. Food is good. Okay, so we can't go down there. Uh, am I reading this map right? No. I'm sorry, people. I know you don't like aimless running, but... Um, this is the best part. No. I am so oh, into this. There's something here. It's a big rock. Alicia, hit that rock. Make it disappear. She's like, do I have to? Yes, you're my squire. You have to do what I tell you. <laughs> Did you need another sandwich, sir? Mmm, yes. <laughs> With bacon. And monster lettuce. And ooh, some of that really expensive ice cheese that you'll have to go to the mountains of coldness. I'll see you in about a month. Oh, and remember to press my laundry while you're gone too, Alicia. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's terrible! I like to have clean socks every morning, Squire. Trust me, when uh, traveling with me, you want me to have clean socks. <laughs> Oof. 
Is Alicia allowed to quit if she gets fed up with that? Oh, there's a way out of this. You either marry me or die. Wow. Yep. See? So, uh, there, there's two ways out. Alicia, what did you sign up for? She signed up for adventure. Ooh, look at the castle. Looks cool from there. It does look awesome. Uh-oh. There's a snake in the way. I hate run snakes. From it. I do, hate snakes. Do the manly thing and run away. <gasps> ah! Wow, Alicia was so impressed. She needs to be impressed. <laughs> I am the shepherd, after all. All right. I think we're going the right way now. Maybe. Let's leave the hissing. <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep running in one direction and see where it goes. One Direction, isn't that the name of a band or something? Yes. So what happens Almost. when they get older and they need to go another direction? They've kind of uh, shot themselves in the foot already. What? What? Because they can only go one direction. They're always going to go up forever. They're going to be always awesome. Okay, wing number one. Okay, so what about Hanson? The Beach Boys. That's what I thought. I can uh, sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. We're near an ancient tongue that has words and elements and status stuff that I don't care about. All Yay, right. AP! Alright, I still think Hanson is cool. And the Beach Boys always become cooler and cooler every year because more of their music is played in malls all the time. But they're not Beach Boys anymore. They're like... Beach geriatric boys. Beach grandpas. It doesn't matter. Your music lives on. You're like immortalized in your in your music, in your CDs. So it's like Raish's uh, Lazarus Pit. You will never die unless the, you know, until the music dies. And it never will. Because people like listening to oldies. As long as there are people that are awesome enough to turn on the oldies station and rock out to it as they're driving in the car... Their spirit will live on Is this forever. It? All right. Enter. I spoke, friend, and we finally made it. The Galahad ruins. Woohoo! Yay! Well, anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode of Tales of Zesty. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, him on, and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow with more zestiness. Bye bye. God bless, Snappy Gaming. See ya.